destroy the objective. What up, forum? It's Steve. I don't stab you, and I'm bringing you know the gameplay commentary on Call of Duty Black Ops. Now, this is going to be a different game type than I normally put out. Um, this I've recently got into um, Demolition, mostly because my friends uh, have been getting tired of only getting like 15 kills a game because the uh, matchmaking in this game is pretty bad, and the fact that it doesn't um, fill up lobbies anymore. So we ventured into Demolition and. Um, do what most people think is pretty dirty, and uh, I have to agree it is pretty dirty, but it is really fun to do when you're doing it, and I pull off a pretty good game here. This is uh, the highest amount of kills in, in any Call of Duty game I've ever gotten, and um, I'm not going to spoil it for you right now, but um, it, it definitely could have been much better had the lobbies filled up. I was looking at getting some, getting a serious number here. I mean, the number I do pull off is pretty, pretty impressive, in my opinion. I mean, it took me maybe 30, 40 games back in Modern Warfare 2 to get over 100 kills. And uh, I think at the time of recording, this is about my third or fourth game of Demolition. So I pick up pretty quickly. And I think another reason why I can do it, or why it happens so well, is um, not only the map. This map is extremely tiny. Um, but the fact that there's no painkiller in death streaks, I think that painkiller really, really like set people back in Modern Warfare 2. I mean, a couple of my friends got uh, over 200 kills in one game in Modern Warfare 2, so it's doable in that game. But it just it just seems so much easier in this one. I think there's videos of people getting 300 kills in Demolition, and that if I ever got 300 kills in Demolition, that would be like the most insane gameplay. I could ever come out with but I, uh, I wasn't gonna originally do commentary for all this whole thing I'm like man 10 minutes of commentary but I figure if you guys are gonna watch it I'm gonna sit here and talk about it and um, I get like two or three Heinz and three to five chopper gunners in this game countless sentry guns but um, the gunship I absolutely hated the gunship like it was probably the most god awful kill streak. Like it was just so hard to use for me in team deathmatch because the spawns were always changing, so I always had to fly back and forth. And it just it just didn't seem like it warranted the two extra kills to get a chopper that lasts the same length and get shot down just as quickly. Like I have to risk two diff two more kills for a kill streak. And I always thought dogs were better, so if I ever did equip an eleven kill streak, it was dogs. Excuse me. But, um, the chopper gunner is just, it's, now that was my favorite kill streak. I have the most kills with I think I have like 3,000 kills with this thing. And I was like, the chopper gunner sucks on demolition because it circles the map. So like half the map, you can't shoot anybody. But with the hind, you can just pinpoint and put it right on their spawn. Um, and just, like, there's one game on Havana I may upload later that, uh, I literally, I just planted the gunship right where it was and just sprayed, even if I didn't see anything. I was just get, I was getting triples, multi-kills out the wazoo, like something serious, like it was crazy. And um, it was just like, this is unfair, but at the same time, they had the option to leave too. And um, I don't blame Treyarch for not putting people in games, because this would tick me off if I got put into a game where... Chopper gunner just destroying my team, and um, I think right here it's this chopper gunner that the game like uh, the host dashboards out or not dashboards out quits out, so it's gonna like stop. It's just gonna like um, sit there and spin, and you're gonna hear the gun shoot, but nothing's gonna happen. And then it's gonna go to me quickly running around. The running around is right after the host comes back. I'm out of my chopper gunner, so yeah, right here is where it's at. So I get back up, and I'm, I believe I'm at 89 kills right now um, before the host ended up leaving, and we're only in the second round. But uh, I have to say, I'm going to talk about the, uh, the class setup here. And when I first set it up, I didn't think that this class would be that great. I mean, you just, you're going to use a gun and then put a, an attachment on it that makes you use ammo even quicker. 
It just it just doesn't seem like a good idea, but for some reason the AK seventy four U with rapid fire and um, scavenger just it just tears through people and like there's really no other like in Modern Warfare two when I did this it was um RPD woman army. So I could just once I needed to reload I just switched to my RPD class again and I had unlimited ammo basically. And now in this game they don't have woman army, which is good. I I'm not complaining that they don't. But scavenger is just as good, especially if you're pro. And I don't, I don't think I have it pro in this video, but just, just the fact that I'm using a submachine gun and with rapid fire to make it fire faster just doesn't seem like that's a good idea. But I haven't found another gun class setup yet that is quite like this. The only thing I could think of that would be almost as good it would be a FAMAS with extended mags and scavenger pro. And. Uh, my perks are obviously scavenger, um, sleight of hand. You need that fast reload because if you're all if you're up in their spawn, you don't want to get stuck having to reload at the long reload times. Not saying that they're long, but I've used sleight of hand religiously ever since um, I got this game. So I really don't. I've really never used a second another second perk. I mean, I've used um, steady aim and uh, warlord, but not like religiously. I've Maybe you've only gotten Warlord Pro once, and Slide of Hand, I don't think I, or as, um, Steady Aim, I don't think I've ever gotten Pro. But, um, so me, to me, the reloads are really slow when I don't have Slide of Hand on, because I'm just so used to seeing it reload so quickly. And for the third perk, it's really up to interpretation on how you want to play. Um, I use Hacker only because they're really, um, if you if you're on a bigger map and you're um, going to try and push them back, you don't want to run into a claymore. Or if you want to see if the enemy has tactical insertions or something like that. And not every game goes like this. Sometimes, uh, like, if we feel like the group is not going to be able to be spawn trapped, if they just have some sort of gun skill and they can push us back, um, we're not going to sit there and we're not going to try and spawn camp them for the entire game. So what we'll do is we'll try to win, and that hacker really does come in handy then. But when you're running around, they don't really have much chance to plant anything. And when you're in their spawn, they really have no—they really have nothing that they can do. They're just there to get shot and uh, destroyed by kill streaks later on when you get them. But uh, so that—that's the perk setup I use, and the gun is the AK-74 with rapid fire. I use the rapid fire because it's easier to cut through multiple groups of enemies because the uh, fire rate is so much quicker and the gun already does, um, is it 40-30 or 30-20? I can't remember. I think it's 40-30 though. Um, for those that don't know what that means, that means that um, each bullet of the gun within a certain range does 40 to 30 damage and in Call of Duty you have 100 health. So it'll take like two and a half bullets to three bullets to kill somebody and with rapid fire you can get you shoot those bullets so quickly that it just it just tears through them it's like they're not even there and uh i'm gonna speed this part up where i just i just basically sit in the back and call them kill streaks this part of the game is pretty slow but i spent up most of it and uh a lot of my friends were getting kind of ticked because they all had choppers and whatnot as well and so, like, I'm just sitting here playing a sentry gun, and then I gotta go back in another chopper gun. Like, I should not be able to do this, but it's what they get, I guess, for staying. I know it's, I know it's a dirty tactic, but it's fun. And if, if you haven't tried it, I suggest you try it. Um, if you do try this, um, you, you're going to want to have a group of six. You can't do it with anything less because if you have a green guy, he's gonna plant the bomb, and it's just. It won't work out right, and or he'll defuse the bomb, or he'll plant the wrong bomb, or defuse the wrong bomb, or whatever it is. So if you if you go to play this, you can only do it with a full crew, and you're not going to be able to pull it off without it, or you're not going to be able to pull it off as efficiently without it, unless you get a a, a random that has a mic and you tell him what to do, and he cooperates with you. Nine times out of ten, they don't really listen to you. Or they don't have mics, or they're just idiots and really have no clue what they're doing, and they just playing the game. So the com uh, the gameplay is wrapping up here, and as you can see, I'm just running around looking for like the three people that are in the game, because most of them quit out, and the game didn't fill up. But 
I think the I think that this game type is actually pretty fun and um, only for this I actually cannot stand the game but as you can see final score is 185 and 17 and um, thank you for watching remember to like comment and subscribe